כ"ף. More secret passageways. Ah, what the fuck is that? Someone spent way too much the time on this house. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. All right, where are we this time? This is back out in the hallway again? Yep. Okay, so we can get into Barbara's room in a second. Whenever we'll people ask first. me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Okay, so she was a... Looks like a child movie star. Okay, we got a Mom must have locked here. their four stairs on the night we left. Huh. I have so many questions. This is so well designed. Alright, so this is. Ah! Barbara's room. Okay. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Okay. Barbara. <laughs> I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Dreadful stories. Of all Guess the stories Barbara people wrote Finch. about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Old Jack here. Old Jack. Another oh, ghastly dear. tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it Oh dear. The surprise ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, mm -hmm. she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, oh dear. the scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> mm, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan oh dear. and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... <laughs> now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. <coughs> okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... You're right! Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. Oh dear. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. This is a fucked up game, man. Oh no, I don't want to. Do we have to? We're gonna die, aren't we? I mean, obviously we're gonna die. This whole thing is about people- And imagine the worst!
If Rick set this up to, like, scare the shit out of her, so she screams correctly, I'm gonna be real fucking pissed off at him. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman the killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. What the fuck is going on? The old fridge rattled. Yeah. I don't wanna. I was promised this game would not have scares in it. Ah! I knew it. Oh. Rick? Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared. Fuck Rick. you. I'm furious. Then act furious. Fuck you. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're. She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick... Oh, no. I don't want to. God damn it. Ah, oh, this music is so intense. What the fuck? Ah! Little shit. Best not be playing a trick on me, Walter. I hit Rick and I'll hit you too. Police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Way out of here. Window? Window? There's a window. Or no, not through here. Not. She played her part beautifully. What the fuck is this? Alright, here we are in Molly's room, and we know we can get out the window. Can we go that way? Hit him, hit him. Going on. He wasn't moving, but she sensed the story might not be over yet. This is so creepy. What the fuck is going on? Are we gonna go down and hit him some more? Is that the plan? God damn it. Call the police, you dumbass. Or don't, you know, whatever. The hookman had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was... Oh, God. Dying to speak to young Barbara at the door. Oh God! Whispering. It was coming from inside the house. Oh, oh dear. Surprise! Bravo, Barbara! You were wonderful. The monsters had come to 
surprise her. For Barbara, it was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, uh, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, uh -oh. tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Ugh. That's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> Oh, fuck you. Well, that was creepy as shit. Great. Okay. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Okay. Come on. There we go. This is super weird. Barb Street. Okay. Happy birthday, Barbara. Very dried out cake. Creepy. Uh, okay. Is there anything else to see in here? I think that's everything. So I guess we go back out the way we came in. Yep. Okay. Edith, I hope you're having a good time. I guess now I time. know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. Okay. So yeah, we know now we know uh we can get downstairs by using the music box, which we couldn't do before, so I guess we'll do that. and hopefully not be brutally murdered. I'm a little concerned about what uh, Edith's fate is going to be in all this, given that the whole thing's news about the whole rest of her family dying horribly in this house, but I suppose we will have to take that as it comes. Sven. Okay, so this is Sven's workshop. Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. <laughs> Alright. Which one was it that said I saw their Edie sneak down to the basement once by the carrying packages. A flashlight that would be super. Nice. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. It turned yeah. out she was hiding a lot more than that. Oh shit. What the fuck? I can't see anything. Holy, what the fuck? I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. The she fucking said mine died, shaft he down as here? As far away as he could. What if there's the a pattern fuck in all is these this? Things, 
I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. What the fuck is this? Some fucking, like, bomb shelter? Walter. 1952-2005. Okay. Now what? Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. What the fuck? On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. What the fuck? But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Come on. What's shaking? What happened? I'm so confused. Having Walter, a schedule. I need answers, Living please. For today. I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. Ooh. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. So confused. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. What the hell are you talking about? Almost what the hell happened in January 1976? What are these that he's eating? And then one day, everything just stopped. March 2005. Whatever that thing was, Why has something been it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being to afraid. It's the same monster that was going to eat Molly? I'm very confused right now. Oh, peaches are in the first So, 76 to 2005, that's about 30 years? It's been a week now. The longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave. Well, I still can. What the fuck is going on? Incredibly, incredibly confused. But okay. What the I know ever it's out there somewhere. Fuck? Whatever killed Barbara is... and Molly and Calvin maybe this is all a mistake <laughs> but I need to stop living the same oh, little day tense. even if it kills me Whatever's out there, I want you to know, I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. <laughs> I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one more day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Jesus. What the fuck? This is so fucked Walter up. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Um, I can. <laughs> I can.
<laughs> How would you explain that? Yeah, he's been hiding from the family curse in a fucking bunker I'm under sure the my house. Mom was trying to protect me. Time. 